What's going on, Anthony Grillo? These Lutz. James Miller, original collection. This is going to be the new castle. So we're going to do two things today. We're going to continue stabilizing some footage in case you don't have an optically stabilized lens on your camera. You, this was shot at lower level Yankee Stadium. And you can see if I just play it, play it out, turn the volume down. It's a little shaky, not terrible. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll pull our playhead back to the original. Make sure you go one, two, three, four over. Click on stabilizer. Click on forward, and just let it do its mag. Let let it do the magic, the black magic. Oh, look at that! See, how I worked that in there. I get a couple of points for being creative today. It is a Sunday morning. Um, been up early today watching the uh, F1 race in Monaco, which has been pretty much non-eventful uh, up until now. Uh, the same guy who left the, pulled out of pole position one has been is, is eight seconds ahead, so it's pretty boring actually. So as you can see, the stabilization is taking full effect, and there's a man walking with a woman. Um, and it is almost at the end. Going in reverse is much faster, so please bear with me. Uh, thank you very much. We'll click reverse now. Click the uh, going back and you'll see uh, our gentleman come back into the frame and it'll stabilize this footage. We'll add the new castle to it. James Miller did release a new love package a couple days ago, maybe on the 23rd. So now I'm going to have to go buy that package because I, I have so many. I just have an addiction to uh, add these LUTs. Um, so and I like bringing them to you guys. So here we are, we're coming to the reverse, the full end of our stabilization of our footage so you guys can actually see what goes on here. Um, and then we'll hit stabilize and we'll get the Newcastle LUT on here and then I'll do some more Yankee Stadium images. All right, so here we are, it's fully fully stabilized. Let's click stabilize, you'll see the frame up to up the, the clip up here shake and stabilize itself, see that? So now if you play it out, we are rock solid, but you'll notice, you see it moving around in the frame there? See that that weird black moving up and down? So what you have to do now is you have to go and zoom in on the clip. So uh, this with the two two uh, cornered arrows, just click on that. See so zoom here? Well, well, let's do this first. Let's, let's add our 2.35 ratio. And then, well, let's play it out and see if that even, do we even have to do the zoom? Yeah, a little bit. We have to do a little bit of the zoom because I could see some some in the in the left hand corner here, some movement. So let's zoom in. Right about there, we'll call it a day right there. And now we are rock steady, right? So okay, rock steady on that shot on the black magic. And we shall proceed by creating zero nodes, Alt S on your Mac, and right clicking and looking for our new castle in our. Uh, Resolve 16 Cube, Newcastle. Haven't done this one before. Just like that, we get a nice grade on top of the footage. So a quick little before and after by hitting Alt and D on your Mac. <clears throat> so that is right out of the Blackmagic camera, Rec. 709, ProRes HQ. Uh, play it out. And I like the feel that the Newcastle gives. It's a little bluish. You know, Yankees are blue and white, so I think this does a really nice job complementing the uh, imagery of the people. Look at their skin tones. Um, really nice, not too, not too washed out, not too blotchy on the skin tone. So let's let's grade this a little bit further out, and we shall get you guys rocking and rolling here. Uh, zero node number one. Uh, go back into your custom curves. Make sure they're unganged. Make them larger, and this is a you know custom custom suit, people. So you guys feel free to do what you like here, but I found these to be the most beneficial. A um, little bit of a red tone, a little bit of a green green tone, a little pull down a little bit on the the blues. Right about there, that looks really really nice. So a little quick before and after. There we go. So this is uh, this is what it's like. If we didn't 
if we turn off that serial node, see how it brings a little bit of that orange black, that orange back um, to the image in the background on the bricks there. So serial node number two will add some contrast. Make sure you're in log here, not the primaries. So just make sure you're in log. So you're in a little bit of, I don't want to do too much. Because if you go if you go too far, you yeah, you surely get the skin start to get a little too blotchy. So really mild on the contrast today. Really, really mild on the contrast. Uh, with three, we're going to sharpen up. So let's click on sharpen. Pull it down. About 44, 45-ish. Uh, go back into serial node number four where our LUT is. Add another serial node. We're going to do a saturation versus saturation curve this time. So you guys can see the difference of what goes on here. So if you pull down on your on your shadows, you can see you can really dial in a, a specific specific saturation right about here. That looks really really nice, and that is all I'm gonna do with this. So let's make it big so I can show you guys what the final image looks like with the Newcastle LUT from James Miller. Um, playing out at a uh, tremendously fast pace. So let's do a quick before and after from here. Alt D on your Mac. So that is what the image looks like straight out of the black magic. When we add the new castle, we get this beautiful, lovely image. And look at, you know, the black magic does a good job. Look at here in the shadows. I mean, I don't see any grain at all. And you know, I don't, I had this at, at 200 ISO um, on the black magic. So it does a really good job as far as being a filmic like camera. Uh, I never shoot above 800 on the camera. I have yet to find a reason to. Um, so that is all today, guys. I'm glad you guys joined me today. I am Anthony Grillo. This is D's Lutz, and this was Newcastle by James Miller. And I'll link to those Lutz in the description below. Thanks so much, guys. Have a great weekend or a great day whenever you're watching this. I'll talk to you guys next time, and thank you for subscribing. Have a great day.